Hello Height to users, and welcome to the first of several instructional videos where we'll go over driver and firmware installations, error code troubleshooting, color corrections, and so much more. My name is Alex and I've been Height to Tech now for 5 years and I'm so excited to be able to bring this first video to you where we'll be going over driver installation and troubleshooting for Windows 10. But before we get started, here's a quick reminder. Information shared in this video is for informational purposes only and should not be treated as an additional assurance or warranty extension. All images and music used in this video are subject to copyrights and are the property of their respective owners. To start, we need to turn off all of our security settings. Begin by clicking search and typing control to bring up the control panel. If you're not seeing the search icon, you can always enable it by right clicking on your taskbar, going to search, and check marking show search icon. Another way would be to right click on your taskbar, open task manager, go to more details, file, run new task, and type in control panel. Once you have your control panel open, you want to make sure and have the screen set to small icons. If it's not, you can switch it in the upper right hand corner where it says view by. Next, open security and maintenance. Then open and change security and maintenance settings. Then uncheck mark your network firewall, internet security settings, virus protection, and spyware if it's not grayed out. Next, we'll want to deactivate our Windows Defender. So let's go to our hidden icons in the lower right hand corner. First, let's go to virus and threat protection. Then go to manage settings. And let's turn off our real time protection and cloud deliver protection. Next, let's go to firewall and network protection. Turn off our domain firewall and we'll do the same with private network and public network. If you have any third party antivirus software, you'll also need to deactivate that. In the lower right hand corner, you should be able to bring up the hidden icon for your third party antivirus software and turn off the real time protection. And firewall. Once you have all of your security settings turned off, we're ready to start the driver install. Let's start by going to the HiT website. Once there, go to Need Help and find Download Service. Step 1, under Download Item, choose Windows. Step 2, I'm going to choose the 525 because that's what I have with me today. If you have an older model, you can choose Discontinued, North America and hit Search and it will bring up a list of all of our discontinued products including P510 series, S420, and P720. Once you have found your driver, go ahead and hit download. Then run. If this message pops up, go ahead and hit more info and hit run anyway. Next, before we extract, let's hit browse, select desktop, then extract. Once the self-extracting archive is complete, go ahead and find your 525L printer driver folder. Then open up the first folder that says P525L driver. Then, open your autorun exe file. Before you start the driver install, make sure your printer is turned off. Before completing the driver install, a prompt message will pop up asking you to turn on the printer. Since I only have the one printer and I'm using USB, the default settings, generate new printer USB by printer serial number works just fine. If you have several printers and are using the photo booth, you may want to switch and generate new printer by photo booth user recommended. That way, you're generating printer copies by USB ports, not by printer serial numbers. Once you receive this message, you're ready to turn on the printer and complete the driver install. Once the message disappears, you know the driver install is working. To check the status of it, you can go back to the control panel and go into the devices and printers. As you can see here, the 525L has already completed the setup. we had the latest driver and the latest firmware was already installed. Once you completed the driver install, don't forget to go back and turn on all your security settings. So you want to go back into small icons, security and maintenance, change security and maintenance settings, and turn back on your network firewall, internet security settings, virus protection, and spyware if you were able to turn it off. Next, let's go into your Windows Defender firewall and go back into virus and threat protection, manage settings, Let's turn back on your real-time protection and cloud deliver protection. Next, 
Just go into firewall and network protection and turn it back on your domain, private, and public networks. Last, let's go to app and browser control and make sure you check apps and files, smart screen for Microsoft Edge, smart screen for Microsoft Store apps are all set to either block or warn. Now before I end this video, I thought I would do a few troubleshooting tips in case the driver install didn't go as smoothly for you. Let's say the driver install didn't go as smoothly for you, and instead of having the 525 on your printers, you're maybe seeing USB photo printer under unspecified. If you are, there are a few steps that we can do to troubleshoot this. Start off by right clicking your USB photo printer and removing device. Once it disappears, go to add a printer, then choose the printer that I want isn't listed, and choose add a local printer or network with manual settings. We're going to keep it at use an existing port, and we're going to hit the drop down and choose virtual printer port USB 001. Then choose have disk, browse, and find the location of your 525L driver folder. This time, we're going to choose the P52X HRA file. Then, you're going to replace the current driver. Once completed, you should have a 525L driver copy that you're going to want to right click and remove device. Then, go ahead and either turn the printer off and on or disconnect the USB and reconnect to complete the driver install. Now let's say the printer driver is being stubborn and still doesn't want to install. We still have one more option that we can choose before you may need to contact IT for additional support. Let's go into the control panel, switch that back to small icons, and go into the device manager. Here you should be able to find other devices and find the IT printer, right click and hit update driver and search automatically. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this video and I'll see you in the next one.